Hi grade 11 student, in today's video we are going to do a question paper that was written last year around March, okay, it was 2023 question paper, okay, so let's look at the question paper that we have, number 1.1, they said give the reason why it is important for business to prepare a bank reconciliation statement each, okay, I already drafted from 1.2 until 1.4, so in this one, we are just going to discuss a possible answers. Okay. So answer number one, according to the memorandum, they said the reason why to prepare a bank reconciliation statement is to improve internal control, to minimize a fraud error because records are checked to external source. Okay. Obviously, before uh, we allow those external people to come to our company and do auditing we must make sure that everything is correct okay number two to compare a books of the business with that the bank in order to detect error or dishonest at the early stage okay if there is any error guys or fraud or dishonest transaction we have to make sure that we detect it as soon as possible because bank reconciliation statement we prepare it each and every month okay the last one to reconcile the bank statement balance with the bank account balance what you have to know guys is that amount that we paid must be exactly the same that reflects on the what on the bank statement okay so what is on our books must be the same with what is on the statement of, from the bank Okay, then now let's go to a major uh, question. Number 1.2. They say that we have to calculate the correct total of cash receipts and cash payment general. Number 3. We calculate the bank balance. Number 4. We calculate the bank reconciliation statement. Okay, now let's check our information and we start with our question uh, without wasting any other time. Number one, at the end of previous month, 80 April 2023, the following items were reflected in the bank reconciliation statement. Okay, uh, this is the previous statement because what we are preparing is for May. Okay, for the previous statement, our uh, bank reconciliation statement, it had a favorable balance of 6325 okay on the ledger account ledger account is this one is cash receipt and cash payment okay it also have favorable balance on the bank statement of 12000 and outstanding deposit which is dated 30 april of 12000 you have to take note of this okay and outstanding eft number 519 and 543 and note eft number 519 did not appear on the bank on may bank statement okay which means that if it's not appear uh, we have to record it again okay we're gonna discuss this when we proceed number two on 31 may 2023 the provisional total in the general were cash receipt general and cash payment general which means that before we we proceed with our cash receipt and payment we must start with the total okay total for cash receipts general number one it was amount of seventy thousand six hundred for case payment we start with the total of one of five three twenty this is before adjustment that we are going to do okay transaction number three a direct deposit by tenant k kuela seven thousand four hundred so a direct deposit guys obviously is cash receipts general okay which means that we're gonna have a direct deposit okay amount is amount of seven thousand four hundred okay then the next one they said a bank charge is five hundred and twenty obviously bank charge is cash payment general because we paid bank charge is five twenty okay then the following one, remember, we are reading items that are not reflected on the what? On the journals. But 
they are reflected on the bank statement okay we have to record them here because they are here but here they are not here everything must be here and here as well okay then interest on fixed deposit for may uh, is 700 interest on fixed deposit we receive interest obviously must be cash receipt general interest income interest on fixed deposit because we invested is income to us 700 okay then interest on overdue is expense interest on overdue okay and the amount is 810 okay then the other one the stop order in favor of rama insurance is 6860 and 5500 for business insurance and the remaining is for owner personal use so for this one obvious number one we are going to adjust insurance we don't adjust the whole balance guys because the other one is is drawings okay insurance is 5500 they said for business is 5500 and for personal use which we we call it drawings uh, it's gonna be the difference between 5500 and amount of 6860 you just say 6860 minus 5500 you will get the difference of 1360 very simple okay i think on this part we are done number four they say the following different were noticed eft number 565 for repair recorded in the cash receipts cash payment journal s 5770 but 1750 on the bank statement and the bank statement is correct in other words we recorded less amount instead of higher amount we recorded 1570 instead of 1750 what do we do now we have to find the different and we go and and add its amount of repairs okay this is how you calculate different guys 1750 minus 1570 okay you're gonna get the different of 18 just like that very simple okay and and another transaction they said a deposit of 12,000 appear in the bank statement on 1 may 2023 but not appear in the cash payment cash receipts of may if you check uh, on our previous statement we have 12,000 which is outstanding deposit dated 30 april so in this transition we are not going to adjust anything because this transition uh, appear on the previous uh, bank reconciliation statement dated 30 april 2023 however there is no action that we have to take if it's a duplication uh, when we prepare bank reconciliation statement for the next month they are going to do what to do a follow-up and they give us a notice but in this case there is nothing that we are going to do okay otherwise we are going to do a duplication all right number three a deposit of twenty thousand two hundred and ninety five dated 20 may 2023 appear in the cash receipt journal for may but not in the bank statement for may okay this we call it outstanding deposit under case a bank reconciliation statement okay and the following eft payments appear on the cash payment but not on the bank statement we are going to do that when we go to reconciliation i think on this part we are done now we can determine total this side and total this side okay so if you calculate on the cash receipts you're gonna get seventy-eight thousand. 700 and this other side you get one one three six nine very simple we are done with 1.2 then 1.3 uh, they said that we have to calculate the bank balance how do we calculate the bank balance obviously the first one we have to start with opening balance and we do this adjustment of these two 
then we're gonna get balance at the end balance at the beginning we're gonna find it on number one a favorable balance in the ledger is six thousand six thousand three hundred and twenty five okay then after that we add cash receipts because we receive we add we pay we subtract one one three six ninety of cash payment okay and you will get amount of twenty eight thousand six hundred and sixty five just like that okay now let's proceed bank reconciliation statement number one we're gonna have balance as per bank statement okay and we're gonna have a credit outstanding deposit and we're gonna have a debit outstanding check okay we're gonna list them here then after that we're gonna have balance as per bank account okay then after that we're gonna see if everything has balance all right now let's start with a uh, balance as per bank statement the last one number five they said the bank statement show an overdrawn balance of thirty four thousand seven hundred and twenty if it's overdrawn it's come on the debit side remember cash receipts is recorded on the credit side when it comes to reconciliation cash payment is on the debit side because it's overdrawn which means that it's negative now it's on the payment side we owe in other words is 34720 this side but if it was favorable it was going to credit side okay outstanding deposit guys we we read it on number four they said it's 20295 it's 20295 okay then outstanding check we have check number 654 and 674 the other one is 2800 the other one is 2520 but guys we also have to go on the previous statement and check remember on number one they said note eft number 519 did not appear on may bank statement which means that eft number one five one nine we have to check it amount is eight thousand nine hundred and twenty we have to go and record this eight thousand nine hundred and twenty check number five one nine just like that okay then after that uh, which one do we have to record balance as per bank account Balances per bank account, guys. We already recorded a uh, calculated is this one twenty eight thousand six hundred and sixty five. Okay, it's positive. If it's positive, which means that is cash receipt. But when it go to this to this side, we have to credit it. Okay, uh, it's twenty eight six six five you have to make sure that when you record they have to swap it the side what you record on the debit here here you record on the credit credit on the debit just like that so if you calculate these two this side and this side you will find that the balances they are the same okay it will give you forty eight thousand forty eight thousand nine hundred and sixty forty eight thousand nine hundred and sixth just like that so i hope you learn something my student please 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 we are in a way now to reach 10,000 subscribers please after watching this video please make sure that you just subscribe it's free of charge just subscribe guys 
and also if you want additional assistance you can purchase a study guide guys which is only 50 rand a study guide contain a lot of previous question papers like from different provinces from first term up to up to last term so when you buy the study guide we are going to add you in our whatsapp group okay when you are added into a whatsapp group you have a a, a space guys that you can be able to ask any question that you feel like you are finding it difficult when you check the study guide and solutions so i hope you enjoy guys i'm gonna see you on the next one goodbye